to see so many old friends, old colleagues. I started at Channel 7 36 years ago this month and had a ball. I became John Gildersleeve's nightmare 36 <laughs> years ago. My cameraman, who's still shooting over there. Um, I owe huge thank yous tonight. You were talking about um, we all have spouses that have been wonderful because journalism isn't something you do, it's something you live. And by God, we had fun living it. But my husband is here, my sister's here from Denver, she flew in with us. My Aunt Annie, who God knows has seen every up and down, is here. Some friends I met in Grand Rapids when I worked there 39 years ago are here tonight. How lucky am I? I always it used to drive the crews crazy. I'd come in and go, we're going to have a great day because I am the luckiest person alive. <laughs> And most of those days were fabulous, but today I feel particularly blessed to see all of you, to be able to be here, to have people I love dearly here with me. I have to thank Jerry Hodak, the nicest guy with the best hair in the world, <laughs> and Megan Saunders. Uh, they're the ones that submitted my nomination and stuck with it, and really were my champions and heroes, and I will Owe oh, them forever. They're wonderful people. The whole Hodak family. They're all here tonight. And how how blessed am I that through the years I've made wonderful friends that stuck with me. An inductee already. Cheryl's a member. She's here tonight. Glenn Barr, Mike Murray, the station manager's here. Bob Giles, he's also in the Hall of Fame. I worked with wonderful people and was blessed every day to do it. Friends from Ann Arbor that are here tonight as well. So you, you look at the lives we lead and, and the blessings that came every day. You may not have realized it at the time, but we were so lucky. I'm lucky to come in tonight with somebody like Vicki Thomas, who I love dearly. We spent a lot of time and a lot of stories. And I think what that says, you have two people that work daily journalism that are here tonight. It talks about the importance of journalism every day. Good journalism can happen every day. And it is happening, and we need to support that. It is imperative through mentoring, through supporting scholarships, every step of the way through teaching good journalism. Cheryl's a teacher now. And Beth Conrad is still teaching. We need good students. We need to encourage them and bring them into the profession. It is so important that we foster good journalism and keep it happening. It's Walter Cronkite who once said, journalism is what we need to make democracy work. I believe that, and it's because of good journalism happening every day that democracy can work. And it's so important that we foster that every day and keep good journalism happening on every platform, in television, print, social media. We do need editors on every form. But when you look at the lives that we've been blessed to lead, I'm so honored that people throughout Michigan trusted me to tell their stories. People let us into their homes, for God's sakes, every day and talk to us. I worked for and I worked with people like Mike Murray, the station manager, who <laughs> believed in funding those stories. Get out there and tell those stories. Go around and talk to the workers get the story that matters to them. Scripps stood for giving a voice to the voiceless, and they let us do that every day. You know, one of the things that you talked about, the story for the Japanese woman who killed her baby at Sumikoka. My eldest sister killed herself through postnatal depression. It was important to me that we make a difference. 
And thank God I had the platform to do that. We have power to help people every day. And it is so important that we keep that happening because in every level, we can make a difference. We were able to right some wrongs. We got some things changed over that 30 years at seven. We keep viewers informed every day, whether it's a plant closing or a new contract or what it's going to mean. God, it'd be fun to cover this year's contracts. It's going to be a big one. <laughs> but you know, we had a lot of fun along the way. And for that, I will be forever grateful. Thank you.